Rich, I guess, um, seemed to really rally well through some first half mistakes in the second half on Saturday. Kind of what was different maybe about him in the second half? You know what, I think um, he, he played a good game from a percentage standpoint when you look at his completions. Um, did make a couple of mistakes on some picks, but uh, did a good job in the second half just settling down. And even, you know, our defense did such a phenomenal job of getting the ball back time after time. We had a lot of chances at it and we kept plugging away, and um, he made some shots at the end. I think it was good for him just to grow up and feel that, to feel what it's like to, to not play your best, but still be in a Big Ten game and find a way to win at the end. Chris Wilson talked especially about the way he threw and, and also maybe some of the competitive plays receivers made on third downs or, or big conversion situations. Is that something that maybe has come a ways from where he and his receivers were early in the year? No doubt. No, I, I think that's the one piece when you talk about what have we been missing. It's, it's been some of those just 11-man total operations because um, it was Rich making the shot. It's the receivers making the catch, but it's the O-line protecting and the running backs stepping up and blocking linebackers. And, you know, all those things came together. Um, so if we can continue to do that, we have a chance to win these next couple games. Coach Wilson said that Rich might be more comfortable playing in that two quarterback system when Xander comes in. Is there any you know truth to that or, or wrong to that? Richard? You know what? I, I just think anytime as a quarterback, you you have a chance to to come off in the middle of a drive and just settle down and catch your breath and just get a feel for the whole flow of the game. I think that can help guys. And good thing for us, Rich and Alexander both are very unselfish kids. And if you watch when they come on and off, they're giving each other high fives and cheering the next guy on. So I just, I almost think that it's, it's, it's been a complete team effort. No one has been um, upset about not getting more reps or less reps, but just trying to do what they can do to help us win. Is what we saw in that Camion touchdown what you guys see in practice, basically? Everything? Well, we hope so. And you know what? I, I really think that he's starting to come back from his leg injury. And I still think it's going to take more time. It won't be until next spring and next fall when he's really his complete self. But I see it every day in practice that he is getting better, uh, more healthy, quick twitch, um, and he has the ability to make those plays. What challenges does Penn State uh, present to you guys? You know, I think they're playing as well as anyone in the country right now. I think they're playing with an extreme amount of confidence. Um, you can tell that they're well coached. They don't give up a lot of big plays. There aren't a lot of mistakes. Um, I don't see a lot of weaknesses just in, in general in their defense. I think their D-line is solid. I think their backers are as good as we've seen. Um, secondary is experienced, and, and they play well together. Um, this team right now is as hot as anybody right now in the country. They played well against you guys, just their defense the last two years, really. Is there is it just something that Franklin does scheming wise, or is it just? Yeah, I don't know. No, I, yeah, I hope not. I guess we'll find out again this Saturday. But it's a great coaching staff. They do a great job, and and, and hopefully we'll come out and play better than we have in years past. Coach Anthony, you play a little bit of right tackle, moving from right guard. What does it say about him that you can just move him from a guard to a tackle position and be able to trust him? Yeah, I think that says a lot, right? I mean, it, it shows you the knowledge that he has of the offense and, and the schemes, what we're trying to get done, um, and really just the, 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 the abilities that he has, that he possesses, that he can kick slide and pass protect like a tackle would and then be strong and firm enough like a, like a guard needs to be too. I think you're seeing his versatility, which for us, again, we're, we're glad we got him and, and thankful we can put him in those situations. Devon Redding's on track to become the first player here in 25 years to rush for 1,000 in back-to-back -back seasons. How significant is that for, for you as a coach and for the program? Well, I think it's huge for the program uh, and, and, and for us as a staff and us as, a, as an entire team. I think that speaks volumes, not only with what Coach Fry's done with the offensive line and Coach Patton and Coach McCullough being a part of that run game, uh, Devine and working hard. I mean, I think there's so many things that go into that. Um, but to us, it, it's something that I'm, we're hoping it's a standard we can continue to, to, to build on every single year. Coach Wilson's mentioned with Cammy on that he thinks mentally it's almost as much of a challenge as physically getting that confidence back. How big is that catch for him to kind of maybe make a play that he was probably making last year? Yeah. Um, is that something that maybe kind of snowball a little bit? With no, no, I think you hit it right on, on the head. I think that's huge. And, and, and there is some confidence that goes with when you come back from a major knee injury like that. And uh, it was great for him to do that. He's had a huge smile on his face. I, and again, I think he knows he's practicing better. He's moving better. And now he knows what he's capable of doing. And now we need to just continue to, 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 to get that out there on Saturdays.